<laughs> I wanted to welcome and thank you very much for coming and your time, Minister. I feel it's really important to ask how you intend to combat the, um, what I would call conditional feminism and selective outrage uh, that is plaguing the women's rights movement at the moment. For example, the feminists and women's rights groups uh, seem far less keen to speak up for the rights of thousands of little girls abused, raped and tortured by large-scale networks of men from patriarchal cultures back in the UK. You know, it's uncomfortable, it's a sensitive issue, there are cultural problems, so people would rather stay quiet and not say anything. In fact, the Labour MP who did speak out and say the truth had to resign and lost her job because of it. And, and this state of affairs is very, very dangerous for women's rights. Um, you know, we've got the cases of, of, of course, feminists speak quite rightly about women's rights to wear the hijab. I completely agree with that. But they're far more quiet on the fact that women are forced to wear it and suffer imprisonment, torture and rape as a result. Um, you know, today there seems to be far more outrage over some comments Trump may have made about grabbing a woman's privates than actual real, very dangerous issues facing women, but that are surrounded by more sensitive cultural areas. You know, we must stand equally beside women and girls and not choose which causes to support based on how comfortable we as women feel tackling the subject and who we might offend. And this is cowardice on our part and it lets the most vulnerable women and girls down. You know, the victims deserve so much more than this. They deserve our courage to speak the truth no matter who it offends. And I'd be really interested to know what your thoughts are on this sort of conditional feminism that seeks to ring fence some men from any type of prosecution and, and leave girls open to such horrific abuse because we find it uncomfortable to talk about. Thank you.